This one is a tough one for me. Um, I know the value of reading. I uh, work for public schools. My husband has now taught in elementary for uh, 27 years. Three years prior to that, he had long-term sub positions. So education is big in our, in our household. Um, but what I want to point out is the whole point of, a, of reading recovery is to do what it takes to help struggling readers learn to read. All kids need phonics, but some may already have that skill. Um, but they may be lacking content knowledge or vocabulary. So the use of running, of a running record and the meaning structure, structure visual, that's the MSV, informs the reading recovery as they analyze student behaviors while reading. If a student is neglecting visual information, that is the focus of the lesson the following day. So reading begins and ends when you stop looking. Students are never taught to guess. They are taught that you can solve unknown words in a variety of ways. The first way is to decode, using knowledge of the written system. The second way is analogy, using parts of other known words. The third was prediction, not guessing. In this way, readers use initial, initial letters plus context clues in the sentence, and that's exactly how it's written into Kentucky academic standards. Once a word is predicted, then its pronunci pronunciation is matched to the spelling on the page to verify that the sounds fit in the letters they see. We always take the student back to the visual clues in a word. Orthographic mapping has long been addressed in the writing portion of the lesson where students study the relationship of letters, sounds, and words. The knowledge of the writing system is strengthened during this time and then transferred back into text. So I think HB 612 offers another tool that teachers can have in their tool chest and to expand the, the skills of our students who are struggling to read. Um, it would allow teachers who are the experts in the class, if, if we have more than one, if we don't limit reading recovery in that process, then it allows teachers um, in our classrooms to tailor their instruction to the students as they need. Um, so I, I actually encourage people at this point to vote against HB 612 and let's go back to the table and, and make it a joint effort. We can build bridges and not walls in our classrooms. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.